uh, in fairness, had a massive prize. His horse yesterday in the, the 2000 Guineas actually ran a blinder. Uh, Starcat. Yeah, it was around seventh or so, yeah. but showed up quite well for, for a fair way. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Um, no, he's had a, a few that have probably run just about to form. He hasn't really had that many shorties except Mr. Poy yesterday at Lingfield, but that one was backing up only after a couple of days. So you can forgive him that um, being beaten at, at even money yesterday at Lingfield. But certainly all the others have, have run with credit, yeah. Mm, just to say with the first race as well at, at Haydock, uh, Tom, the, the first race time was six seconds above uh, average. Right. Okay. Yep. That's because you never really quite know, do you, what ground you're going to get at Haydock? Um, I mean, they're so tricky you, with the, the rail movements at Haydock as well. You never quite know if the distance is absolutely correct, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so um, you know, maybe after this one, we'll get even more of a guide to to what's um, in store. I mean, I was hoping the Quinn family were going to have a good day up at Haydock today. Mm. Uh, um, They'd want a bit of juice in the ground, wouldn't they, for their two? Yeah. Certainly, certainly, certainly for a safe voyage. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So um, it was quite. Um, I did get a bit of a shock when I saw that it, that soft was in the terminology <laughs> yesterday morning, um, but I expect I shouldn't be surprised really. Uh, Berkshire Savvy will be the last one to go forward, an eleven to one chance for Rob Hornby, our uh, winning rider of the first race of uh, the uh, day. Andrew Balding teaming up with Rob Hornby and uh, Berkshire Savvy, as we are just about said. Let's go and take the call at Haydock for their second. Handler comes away from the front, set, they're off. Again, racing over a mile and a quarter, this time the Hedio Hunchard. Fairway handicap, walk on by Yellow Jacket, slowest to get out. Bit of a joust for the early lead on this occasion. And with Clay Regazzoni and the Noseman prominent, so too Alexander in the light blue and yellow. And then Glenn Ties in orange jacket, London Arch in the pink towards the far side, taking the dog leg turn. And right down on the near side, the keen going Bucephalus with the green cap joins the leaders. Barkshire Savvy in a red and white jacket, red cap is only a couple of lengths off the lead, followed by Philosophical in the purple and blue and let her loose against the rail with her striped sleeves. Uh, then Kips the Grey, who's held up racing last but one, just ahead of uh, Walk On By as they go into the uh, far corner. So moving towards the end of half a mile or so, well group field here, it's Alexander closest the fence, London Arch out wide and Glen ties up between them. Then Bucephalus the green cap racing on the inner of the nose banded Clay Regazzoni. Berkshire Savvy's caught a little deep as they approach the halfway point, let her loose cut in the corner, philosophical bustled along between horses. The grey Kips is still waiting in the wings and still has just walk on by in behind as they head towards the top of the straight. So in line for the judge, just over a half mile to travel, it's Alexander and Danny Tudhope still leading a well concert up team, a team at upfield to Glen ties the orange jacket and London Arch on the near side. Then Clay Regazzoni, Bucephalus exploring a passage up the rail green cab. Uh, now Kips the Grey is beginning to make progress. Uh, Berkshire Savvy red cap is coming with him. Away to the extreme left, walk on by remains in rear. Philosophical is still hard at work. Let her loose with the uh, red and white striped sleeves is looking for a way through towards the inner. They're heading on towards the last quarter mile. Alexander being pressured by Glenn Ty.